snow princess. Um, we just like did white stuff, and then like we put like blue stuff on me, and then like there's snow on me, and then like we did little stuff on here, and then like we did snow, and then we like did that, and then we like put a wig on, and if, if you want me to see, if if you want me, if you want me to show you how I, how I do with my auntie makeup, I'll show you how it's done. First thing I did was cover her face in a light coat of the Pearl White water-based face paint, the same paint that I also used on myself to, when I did my Snow Queen look. When you're doing this on kids especially, remember to be very careful around the eyes. They wiggle and you definitely do not want to get any paint in their eyes. Even though it's water-based, it would probably still sting a little. You'll notice throughout this video, my niece is a bit of a ham, so she spent a lot of time looking at herself and making crazy faces in the mirror. It definitely made it a lot more entertaining and fun to do than painting just myself. We also discovered that her neck is extremely ticklish. I didn't go too far down with on her with the paints because I knew I was going to put a wig on her and I was going to focus the pictures more in the face than really anywhere else. Right here I took a teal glittery kind of paint and I just did her eyelids with it. I wanted to give them just a little bit of a shimmer. I didn't want to put too much makeup on her, especially not anything that would be hard to get off. I also wanted to keep her colors lighter than what I'd used on myself as the Snow Queen. She's younger and I wanted to give her Snow Princess more of an innocent, young, fresh look versus where I did the, the dark blues and the navies on myself. I took a little bit of a light teal eyeshadow and I just did some contouring on her cheeks. I also contoured along the sides of her nose. I just wanted to kind of break up that flat pearl white color that I had all over her face. I pulled a little bit of that same light teal eyeshadow color down into her neck. Like I said, I didn't want to have just that straight flat pearl white. Even though it was shimmery so it didn't look quite so monotone, I just wanted to add a little extra highlight of color. I did a lighter teal color even on her forehead and her cheeks just to kind of blend it all in and give it a pale blue shimmer. I did a shock electric blue mascara on her eyelashes instead of putting fake lashes on. We stopped for a few dance parties throughout this whole uh, experience. It didn't take us very long, but still, she needed some breaks. I ended up mixing up some light turquoise glitter with some glycerin, and that's what I used for her lipstick. I also used it to make a little swirly design on the side of her face, kind of to match the one that I had done to myself. At this point, I took some latex and I just lightly brushed a little bit over her eyebrows and on her cheeks. This is what I was going to use to um, adhere the fake snow. I didn't want to do too much because I knew she'd have to peel it off later and I didn't really want it to hurt. I will warn you, if you use fake snow for anything, you will end up cleaning it out of that space for weeks afterwards. I think I still found some fake snow in my makeup area three weeks after I did these looks. It's like glitter. It gets everywhere. Then I just took a big puffy brush and I kind of brushed off all the loose snow so nothing had fallen to her eyes. And I threw a wig on her and she was happy as can be. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please keep an eye on my channel and subscribe to see more looks that we do together.